Today we're going to be looking at reverse osmosis membranes. I'm going to show you a couple of them and uh, tell you the differences. But first off, let me show them to you. So what we'll be looking at today is the TW30-181250. This is the uh, Watts uh, W181250. And this is the new Pentec, or I should say Pentair, GRO50EN. It's an encapsulated membrane, but it's one of the newest ones on the market. In fact, it is the newest one on the market. So if these typical, typically fit into a housing like this. It's conventional, produces a 1 to 4 waste ratio, meaning it for one gallon of water it produces that you can drink, uh, it produces four gallons of wastewater. It's very, very typical. Uh, one thing you should know about this is that uh, this FilmTech brand, they are probably one of the very few manufacturers of this material. In fact, uh, they actually manufacture and private label for a lot of companies. Watts being one of the few that they do, uh, excuse me, one of the many that they do private label for. They do sell their materials out to a lot of companies as well, and uh, those companies just roll their own membranes. So they produce it using film tech material a lot of the times. Now there's other companies that make uh, that make film uh, material, membrane material, but it, it's very very few. So film tech is being the the product leader in that industry. That being said, we come to this uh, uh, this membrane here. Now this one, it is reverse osmosis as well. Uh, one thing that you should know about it is that it has a one to one ratio. So this is a 50 gallon per day membrane. It is quite longer than your standard conventional membrane. As you can see, uh, that's the difference right there. But this is all encapsulated, so you can imagine this housing and this housing, it's still a little bit longer, about two inches or so. Um, the one thing you should know about uh, these is that uh, the conventional membranes is that for these housings, you need to actually have the fittings for it. So you need to ensure that you get a check valve as well as a flow restrictor. Again, these are standard membrane housings and they'll fit any conventional RO membrane. Um, these are what we call 1812 membranes. Uh, that means 1.8 inch diameter by 12 inch long. So for the conventional membranes, you just slip, slip them into the housing, pop them in, close them off, and put on your fittings. And again, <clears throat> uh, your check valve goes here, and your flow restrictor goes here. The Pantera GRO50EN has a 150 milliliter uh, flow restrictor that they're requesting you to use. You can use a smaller one, you can use a larger one. But if you use the 150 milliliter one, it's just as equal as you uh, using a 550 milliliter for this one. Again, you can use anywhere between uh, 400 and 550, and it should be fine. In fact, you can go larger and you can go smaller. It just changes how much waste ratio there is. But for optimal performance, 500 to 550 is what they recommend. Uh, for this one, they're recommending you to use 150. So you can see that there's a great difference already in the production for wastewater. So uh, this is a little bit more earth friendly. Uh, as far as performance goes, they are exactly the same that I can see on a, an actual real test. I'll go ahead and show you some samples in a minute. But uh, spec wise, this is, has a 96% rejection rate. Uh, the film text, uh, even watch, again it's private labeled as film, it's private labeled from film tech. But, uh, these are uh, a 98% rejection rate. So they technically have a slightly better one, but it's so small you don't even notice it in real life situations. So for example, if you have a 100 uh, parts per million TDS, uh, instead of you getting a, 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 a two on your uh, product water or permeate water, you probably get a four on this one. So this would probably give you a two on a PPM and uh, this will probably be 4 ppm. But it's, again, for drinking water, it's not going to really matter. So that's about it. That should conclude our first uh, membrane review.
So this is going to be reviewing the results of the water quality on reverse osmosis on the tap water. Uh, so we have tap water, TW30181250, and the GRO50EN. So our TDS meter is going to be placed in here, and as you can see, tap water is going to be 334 parts per million. Okay. Uh, this is 26 parts per million, so we're still above a 90% rejection rate. This one is 16 parts per million. So, as you can see, the new Pent uh, Pentair's uh, GRO50EN is performing extremely well. Now, this is the most interesting thing. Here is the wastewater for the GRO50EN. Okay, just to show you guys. So the GRO50EN, that's the product water, that's the wastewater. As you can see, they're practically level. Now, let's take a look at the wastewater produced with the TW30181250. So product water and the wastewater. So as you can see, it's quite a bit difference in production. We used a 550 milliliter flow restrictor on this one. On this, we used a 150 milliliter uh, flow restrictor. So that's how we got our results. And thank you for watching.